I found this mango sorbet recipe on Instagram. It's supposed to be easy and delicious, and it only requires three ingredients, mango, lime juice, and agave. We're going to put it to the test and see if it's good. So here I cut five mangoes that are ready to be put in the freezer and we're going to leave it in the freezer for two hours. I ended up cutting three limes and that got me a little over one third cup of lime juice. You can add one fourth to one third of lime juice, but I want a little bit of lime juice. I'm going to add a little more. Here you can see we have a little more than one third. And as a sweetener, I recommend agave or a maple syrup because they are plant-based. As a reminder, bees make honey for their own use. And as far as how much, we are going to use the same as lime juice from one fourth to one third cup. And here we have our frozen mango. It's been more than two hours. So in my case, I chose agave and here we have a little more than one third cup. It looks so good. No. <laughs> this is going bad so far. It started spilling from the side. <laughs> Okay, so, so far, it's not going well. I left the mango for more than two hours, almost heading three hours in the freezer, and it's so watery. And I cannot use the food processor because it keeps spilling from the sides. <laughs> so, I already made a mess. I got the food processor dirty, the tablecloth, it's a mess. So, we're going to see how we figure this out. <laughs> I brought you to the bathroom because we are going to get ready. I'm going to do my makeup and hair and I don't know about you but when I get ready I like to put on a robe because in the past it's happened to me that I'm applying makeup especially foundation then it just spills on my top and then I have to change so now to prevent any of that then I just cover my clothes the foundation that I love so much is this one by NYX and I love it because it feels watery it doesn't feel heavy and especially here in Miami Florida where it gets hot like this it's so lightweight and it's perfect and we're going to be talking about some of these products hair care I have to clean that. Mm -hmm. 
before we leave the bathroom i just wanted to share this because this all you have to add is water to clean your mirrors and i love it so much because you don't need any liquid any cleaners to get your mirrors clean i got this from amazon and i really love it and recommend it so much so this is the outfit that I am wearing, so comfortable and I love it. It's a two-piece set and the waist has an elastic. And my favorite part is that it has pockets, which is so convenient when I have my car keys or home keys when I go out. And whenever I'm home, I like using sandals with socks. These sandals are also from Amazon. They are so comfortable and I love them. This is an outfit that could also look great if you're going out with heels or sandals, like different ways. I got it in blue, but it's available in more color, neutral colors and soft colors. So I'm going to leave the link in the description box. If you go into the link, you are going to see all the colors available. I just noticed that these glasses would go perfectly with the outfit. <laughs> So I brought you here to the living room so we can feel more comfortable and we're going to talk about hair care and the other day I was mentioning in my stories how these brands send the influencers PR products. It's just a way for them to promote their product and show us what's new on the market and I have noticed lately that it's happened to me that I end up loving the product so much that I buy it again and again and I also recommend it to you on my Insta story so in the end the brand wins because as an influencer or at least me i buy it and then i recommend it so it's a win-win because the product the brand makes money and we find a product that we love we're going to talk about three brands specifically anomaly heritage and jbn and a few other things and by the way i have been vegan for more than 10 years so everything that you see here it's cruelty free and vegan which means it was not tested on animals and it has no ingredient from animals which is so important in this channel so let's begin by the way this is my honest opinions i am not getting paid for this i just got the products for free to try it out and see if they're good or not so the first brand that we have here it's anomaly so this brand it's available at target i've seen it on amazon this bottle the first one i did get for free but this one i did buy it from cbs that's how much i enjoy this product this is the clarifying shampoo this has eucalyptus and charcoal and what i like about it is that it really cleans my hair and does not leave it dry and i really like that and then here i have the hair and scalp oil this has almond and rose hip oil and this one, what I learned on TikTok, this girl recommended that when you use oils, don't leave it for hours and days. Then you're supposed to leave it for a few minutes. So she said like around 15 minutes and do a hair massage. And I use this that I bought from Amazon. And when I'm watching TV, I'm just massaging my head. So you will see hair loss. But she said that's good because your hair that is weak will fall but then as a result you will get stronger hair and she said that's good so you only want to do this for like 15 minutes and then you go take a shower and wash your hair as regular so that's what i have been doing just to test it out and see how it works but as far as the oil i love it it's most nice and you can apply it on your ends for shyness so this one i love it now we have also by Anomaly the leave-in conditioner and bonding treatment mask. So the leave-in conditioner is basically to hydrate and protect. This has avocado and murmuro butter. I'm not sure what that is. But this one I have applied on little Lynn on her skull because she tends to suffer with dandruff. And I've seen that it has helped her head. So this one I like. This one you can leave it on your ends and just style your hair as usual and the bonding treatment mask it's basically to build and strengthen your hair this has quinoa and vegetable proteins this one you leave it on for five to ten minutes after you cleanse your hair and again really good products i love the scents i love how they don't test on animals they try to reduce plastic waste for example this one was made with 70 percent plastic trash so i love all of it and it's so accessible you can find it at target or the links are going to be in the description box so here we have the rice water hair rinse this basically has nutrients it hydrates your hair to keep it looking healthy this is recommended to use 
once a week and mine is up to here so that's how you can tell that i have been enjoying it that i like it now we have the heat protecting spray when you saw me getting ready this is the one that i was using I tend to use a heat tool like once a week um, just to keep my hair healthy so I don't have anything bad to say about this, recommend it. And also by Heritage, hair accessories. This is my favorite headband at the moment. Um, they already sent me two which is great because I really love it and that way I have a backup but I just love it. Like if you follow me on Instagram, this is the one that you have seen me wearing and then the blue hair clip that you saw me before when I was getting ready this is the one and their hair scrunchie which I love because it's one of those big ones that looks cute and you just have to tie like twice like a double knot and your hair stays put it, it doesn't get loose so I like it I like the colors and it's so cute <laughs> And the hairbrush, also by Heritage. When I saw it, honestly, I just thought, oh, it's just another hairbrush. But when I tried it, I liked it so much because it detangles your hair without pulling your hair, without breaking your hair. The first one I got for free, I gave it to Little Lynn, but I liked it so much that I bought one for myself. So now talking about the brand JVN, here I have the Nourishing Shine Drops. And I have more products by this brand to try out that I will be trying in the following days. I like to talk about it on my Insta story, so if you want to follow me there, so you get to see it in real time. What I like about the Shine Drops is that it is so lightweight. I love the texture of my hair. If I compare it with the Anomaly Oil, JVN definitely feels thinner, more lightweight than Anomaly. Anomaly, it's a little bit thicker in the consistency. Both are great, but I tend to like the Anomaly one to do the hair massage and then this one just to give my hair some shine. I just love it. I This one I do recommend it so much. And just to finish up the hair care section, the last product that I have here is the Ordinary Hair Serum. This one I got as a gift for my little sister. And so this one is supposed to give you healthier, fuller, thicker hair. So this one I have been applying for a few weeks, but I want to use it for a few more weeks, months to really have a good idea and see if it's good or not. So now we are in Little Lynn's room and I love this room so much because there's really good lighting. I have a window here by my side and in front of me. It's a really good place for when I'm using the laptop and it's a really good place for my eyes for when I use my laptop and that's what we are going to be talking about, our vision because I think it's so important that all of us with all the technology that we have available, it is so important to take breaks, to take care of our eyes. So these are tips that I love so much. Our eyes are basically muscles. So important to give it breaks and to keep your eye muscles healthy to prevent more eye deterioration. So we prevent our eye muscles to get weaker and depend on a stronger prescription. Like I've been wearing glasses, I would say maybe more than half of my life. So this topic about eyesight, it's so important for me. So right now I am wearing contacts. Okay, so before we begin, let's let's compare our modern days with history. So in the past, like a long, long time ago, people didn't have all the technology that we have. So basically they would spend days and hours just looking far away. That's the normal state of our eye muscles. So, and people started to wear more glasses throughout history. And now in our modern days, it's way worse as far as like how people have to depend on glasses to be able to see because of laptops, cell phones, iPads, and so many other things. We keep our eyesight constrained to a short distance and not a long distance how our eye muscles should be a quick test that you can do like right now if you're in front of the mirror is that i get close to the mirror and my eyes like around my eyes like the white part like the veins they start getting red and that's just telling you that when your eyesight is closed like your eye muscles are constrained like your eyes do not like that but if you're looking around like if you go for a walk if you go to a park your eyes are looking everywhere and your eyes are constantly moving but what happens when we are just on our phones our eyes are not moving like you know like 
really moving like <laughs> looking around and our eyes are kept in a short distance that's really bad that's what gives us bad eyesight so when we are using our devices it's so important to take frequent breaks if it's every half hour or less that's even better but we have to give our body movement especially our eyes so something that i like to do if i'm on my phone usually we just stare at our phone like this like straight but something that i like to do every few minutes i like to change like my head position so view my phone from like the sides of my head and i know this may look weird in public so i do this when i'm home not in public and yeah you can start looking at your phone like this so basically you are giving your head movement and especially your eyes and this is something that i like to apply if i'm also using my laptop reading a book another eye exercise that i love to do in front of my laptop is to move my head so i like to do this i look up down and i look the other way up down i also try to look into the distance and you will notice that just by doing that your vision improves by just a little bit and again your eyes love like they crave eye movement so again in the comfort of your home um just like look up down and your eyes will love it and again if i'm in front of my laptop i like to move my head like sideways and your eyes will love it and that's another good tip so i'm showing you this angle to show you what i also do so when i'm sitting down i like to focus on the clock i also alternate my head and i focus my vision on the clock on my car the clock the car sometimes up to a tree like just try to alternate and i like this room like i said before because it has really good lighting which is so good for your eyes and i also have a window to look into the distance and i have another window beside me so try to work in a very well lit area and that allows you to look into the distance so this is what i focus on on my car this little rectangle sticker on my car so i i focus from the time to the sticker the time and the sticker and i move my head and just to conclude talking about eye care Something else that I recommend so much is eye tapping. Um, if you don't know what it is, I'm going to leave some videos in the description box that you can follow that I love so much. And also doing massages around your eye muscles, which is great. So yes, don't forget to be turning your head, look up, down to your sides. Your eye muscles crave movement, and especially looking into the distance so your eyesight does not get worse. So here, moment of truth, the ingredients were not well blended, but I feel like that was part of the instructions. I followed everything how it said, so I don't know how I went wrong, or maybe I had to freeze the ingredients more time, but let's see. I think it looks so cute with the mango skin. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I love the blend of the lime juice with the mango it feels so refreshing it feels the perfect homemade treat especially during these hot days i was just feeling hot now and i live in florida where it's like between 80 and 90 degrees but i've seen in arizona like up to 90 and i think even in some other places up to 100 it's crazy out there with the hot weather but this is the perfect treat I only wish I would have blended this better, but nonetheless, this is so good and the perfect treat. Mm. <laughs> it's so, so good. <laughs> Michi! Hola, Michi! Good chica! Hi, good chica! This is my lunch for today so i like to heat up my food in glass containers in the mini oven and then i put it on this because it's so hot one time it actually melt one of my placemats so now i'm always careful so here we have mac and cheese some veggies and a spring roll 
filled with veggies. So simple but so good. So thank you so much for making me company today. Today we got to try the mango recipe, talk about hair care and tips and recommendations to take care of our eyesight which is so important. Let me know in the comments what you thought or what else you would like to see. And don't forget you can follow me everywhere with the same name Lynn Sire. If you have liked this video don't forget to give it a like and I'll see you next time. Kisses! Bye! Thank you.